Kodi is a really great application that helps you store and organize a media library of all your music and movies, TV shows, and whatever. By default, it will store all of this information in a local database. But if you plan on using Kodi on more than one device, you can create a shared database that all of these devices connect to separately. And that can be really useful because any changes you make on one device will be seen on another device. Anything you import on one device will be seen on the others. And if you're listening to something on one and pick up another, you can pick up right where you left off. Start a movie on your TV, finish it on your tablet. Also, if you're using a VPN, you can have Cody on your phone, connect to a shared database at home where the media is stored, and watch any of your media remotely. And it's not that hard to do. So, the first thing you want to do is install a MySQL database. Now, you want this to be on a computer that's always going to be on, so your other devices can connect to it. Now, I have put it on my Raspberry Pi, right alongside my media. So, I've SSH'd into the Raspberry Pi, and then I'm just going to go to this website, which I will link below, and it has instructions for whatever operating system you may be using. We're using Raspbian, and then we'll just follow the instructions. Uh, I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again, but basically, sudo apt-get install MySQL server. Actually, that's a little bit out of date. You actually want to install MariaDB-server. So I would do a sudo apt install MariaDB-server. It says it's already there, so it's not going to reinstall it, but that's what you want to do. If you installed MySQL Server, it would just redirect you and install this. No harm, no foul. Then you would want to edit this file. Just copy that right there. Paste it in. And you're looking for this bind address line. By default, that's going to be like that, and it will be pointing the address to this, to the local computer. You want to comment that out and save. By putting a hashtag in front of that line, that tells the computer to ignore it, and that's what you want it to do. So once that's saved, you will restart your MySQL server And then you will enter the MySQL server. So sudo MySQL. That brings you to a prompt where you will create a user called Cody with the password Cody. You will copy that, paste it right in there. I'm not going to press enter because it's already set up on mine. But you run that line. You run this line to Granite Privileges. And then you flush the existing privileges and then dash Q to quit. This stuff is case sensitive and it requires the semicolon at the end. So it's best to just copy and paste right from this web page. Once that's done, you've done all that you need to do on the server side. So then you open up Kodi. And close it. No need to do anything. Uh, that's just to create the file structure that you want to look at. Once that's been done, let's see, I'll, I'll paste this down below. You want to go into the directory where Cody has the user data information. On Linux, it's this one. So I'll go into my home directory. I'll go into .cody. And I'll go into user data and I will create a new file called advancedsettings.xml. Do that, just create new document, empty document, call it advancedsettings.xml, open that guy with a text editor,
and paste all of this into that empty file. Just copy, paste that in there, and then change the host address to the IP address of the computer where you've installed the MySQL database. Save and exit. And now you have a shared database. So at this point, I'd open Kodi back up and I would start importing media. Get one computer set up exactly how you want with all your media. And, and as you import, it will be saving that out to the database. So once you've done that, there are a few files that you want. Those are all going to be in this user data directory. You want to copy advanced settings.xml. You want to copy media sources.xml, sources.xml. You want to go into the database folder and copy textures13.db. And then you want to copy the entire thumbnails directory. The only one that's really required is advanced settings.xml. That's what points each Kodi installation to the shared database. But these others will make it easier to uh, access your media and will copy all the thumbnails. The thumbnails are actually saved locally in each Kodi installation. So if you want to avoid downloading them over and over again, you can just copy them into the user directory of whatever device you want. So once you have them copied, put them on a thumb drive, put them on a network drive, um, put them on the cloud if you want to, and then go to your second device, open up Kodi, close it. You've created the file structure and you want to copy these files over into that location on your second device. Do the same thing on your third device, your fourth device, however many you want. So once those files are copied over, restart Kodi and you'll see that all of your data is there and each installation looks like every other installation that has those files. And that's really all there is to it. It's a pretty easy project and it's really convenient to have one database with all that information if you want to use Kodi across multiple devices. So I hope that's been informative. Thank you so much for viewing and please like and subscribe if you see fit. Thank you very much.